Hello, and welcome to the Public Good Radio Show Recap. This is Jolanda Hill from the Partnership for the Public Good, speaking to Megan Maloney, Dave Zalivar, I hope I'm saying that right, of the New York Immigration Coalition, and Jennifer Connor of Justice for Migrant Families. Uh, so they'll be discussing their work to ensure rights, dignity, and justice for immigrant families in Western New York, including pressing policy issues and upcoming events to join. Uh, so the first question I have for you guys is, um, what specifically do you both do at each of your organizations? Starting with... Okay, um, so at NYIC, the New York Immigration Coalition, we're a statewide organization. So my job is to work with our members in Western New York um, and to ensure that the issues that are raised here are connected um, to our organization and we're able to respond to those, but also making sure that people on the ground here in Buffalo are connected to what's happening at the national and statewide level. And my organization that I work with is Justice for Migrant Families Western New York. We're an all-volunteer grassroots organization based in Buffalo. And we do um, support of undocumented families and also organizing and advocacy on the issues that are facing them. Um, and what else? We work, we may work mainly in the local and state level. Okay, awesome. And so um, I know there's a lot going on in the news right now as it relates to immigration. Um, and so... Can one of, of you guys explain what are the most pressing uh, issues for um, the immigrant community in the city of Buffalo? Uh, so I think the most pressing is hard. The, I think this administration um, has been attacking the, commu the immigrant community um, across the board um, from the day that it's gotten to office. Um, there's you know, the attacks that have happened over the weekends are making families choose between being able to provide essential support like food or housing or having a legal immigration status. Um, that's just one of the most recent things, but the reality also here on the ground is that New Yorkers, um, undocumented New Yorkers, don't have access to driver's licenses. Um, and that's something that our state can do. Um, and people are getting deported all the time just because they're driving. So while the attacks are at the federal level, we're very clear. Um, we continue to push back on both separating families at the border, um, but also there are things that we can do here locally um, to ensure that folks stay in our community. Okay, and so what can people do locally here in the city of Buffalo to keep informed? Um, can they go to any events, um, a website that they can go to? Um, can you guys please share that? Yeah, yeah. so you. you can find us on the web at justiceformigrantfamilies.org. And there's ways to contact us through that. And we have a lot of opportunities to um, volunteer and take part. And our upcoming event is this Thursday, September 27th, at 7 o'clock at Trinity Church, 371 Delaware. And what is it? Aviva Chomsky is coming to speak. She's a, a professor and a writer on immigration and labor. And she, um, if you are curious to learn more about what immigration looks like now and what it has meant um, and also to find out more about these opportunities to be involved come out on thursday night seven o'clock trinity okay well thank you guys so much for joining us on the public good radio show recap again this is jolanda hill with the partnership for the public good just speaking with megan maloney de Zal zaladivar of the new york immigration coalition and jennifer connor of justice for migrant families to learn more about the New York Immigration Coalition, as she said, please visit uh, www.nyic.org. And to learn more about Justice for Migrant Families of Western New York, please visit justiceformigrantfamilies.org. Thank you guys so much. Until Thank you. next time. Thanks, Yolanda. You're welcome.